when your air temperatures rise, your ground temperatures are going to rise as well. And that's when you need to put down a pre-emergent. So in this video, I'm going to discuss what a pre-emergent is, when you should put down a pre-emergent, where you should put down a pre-emergent, why you're putting down a pre-emergent, and how you need to put down a pre-emergent. Let's jump into the video. So what is a pre-emergent? A pre-emergent is basically a herbicide that is going to stop the development of the root from growing into a full plant. Although the weed will still germinate, it won't grow because the weed won't develop a root. And the typical pre-emergents that we use are going to be root and shoot inhibitors, better yet known as DNAs or dinitroanilines. So what it's going to basically do is it's going to create a vapor barrier in the soil. And as those weeds start to germinate, it's going to club the roots of that weed. Now the next one is when should you put down a pre-emergent? Now typically you're waiting for your soil temperatures to be between 50 and 55 degrees. Now notice I said soil temperatures, not air temperatures. Just because you walk outside and the air temperatures is 55 degrees, it does not mean that your soil temperatures is 55 degrees. And the way that you find out your soil temperatures is by using a soil thermometer to check to see what the temperatures are. Now, what I like to do is I typically will go out before the soil temperatures are 50 degrees. So normally around like 46 or 47, that's when I'm going down with my pre-emergent. And the reason why I'm going down so early is because of hot spots. Now, hot spots are going to be certain areas within your lawn that are going to be warmer than the rest of the part of your lawn. So you can have a hot spot that can be up against your house, maybe on the curb area, maybe around your landscaping beds where your pavers separate your landscaping beds from your grass, maybe up against your driveway. These areas are typically going to hold heat longer than any other area within your lawn. So for example, as I'm going out with my soil thermometer and I'm walking into the middle part of my lawn, as I stick it a couple of inches into the ground, you can see that the temperature is diving down, diving down, and then we land around like 49 degrees. Now the next thing that I do is I go to a spot that I know it's going to be warmer than the spot that I just left. And as you can see, the meter is starting to slowly rise up, rise up, rise up, and then we're resting at maybe like 55 degrees. Now, if I had a weed pressure problem in that particular hot spot area, and I waited for the temperatures to get warm enough in the first spot that I checked, those weeds would have already started to germinate. And then I would have said to myself, you know what, this stuff doesn't work, which in actuality, it does work. It's just that you put your pre-emergent down a little bit late. Now, the next thing is, where should you put down your pre-emergent? You should put down your pre-emergent over your whole entire lawn. This is what we call a blanket application. Now, one tip that I want you to focus on is, Focus on those hot spots in your lawn via next to your landscaping beds or on the curb where your street meets, your grass, or maybe next to your driveway. Now, like I said before, those particular areas are typically going to have some weed pressure first. Not all the time, but typically you're going to see those areas get some weed pressure. And if you can, you want to focus in on those areas. Now, the next one is why do you want to use a pre-emergent? The reason why you want to use a pre-emergent is because you want to keep these troublesome weeds from getting into your lawn. Now, if you have a thin lawn, it's going to be easy for those weeds to be able to get into your lawn and start growing. However, the natural way to keep weeds out of your lawn is to have a thick, lush lawn. So if you can be able to oversee your lawn or do a total renovation on your lawn to thicken up your lawn, that's going to be the best way to prevent weeds from getting in your lawn. And last but not least, how do you put down a pre-emergent? 
Now there's two different ways you can be able to put down a pre-emergent. You can use a liquid and spray the pre-emergent or you can use a granular and you can spread the pre-emergent. Now, most people are going to be familiar with using a granular. Now, the one thing I will say to you is this, use what is comfortable to you. Don't always try to copy and do what the next person is doing. If you are comfortable with using a granular, use a granular. If you're comfortable with using a liquid, then use a liquid. How I started out, I started out using a granular with a Scott spreader and I got great results. Now, since I'm more advanced, I'm using a liquid and I'm still getting great results. Now, all you need to do is use one. You don't need to use a liquid and a granular, just use one. While you're out there putting down a pre-emergent to prevent weeds from growing, you're noticing that you're starting to see a bunch of weeds all over the place. The question is, should you put down weed control? I have all those answers right here. Click on this video and I'll let you know whether you should put down weed control now or should you wait. I'll see you over there.